we were kids who were placed in the system and we were expecting to function like every other normal kid in the United States. But in, in reality, we weren't normal kids. We didn't have any physical deformity or anything visible, but we, were, we had scarves that were invisible. A lot of them did not make it. Some of them died because of, uh, they joined a gang. Some didn't make it through depression. I think, you know, overcoming all, you know, like, I, when I look, I see, you know, like a kid, we had the war, kids are, you know, to be seen, but not to be heard from. So nobody was comforting us or, you know, there to attend your emotion and say, you know, you went through war, you watch people blown into parts, we lost our belonging, our home, our whole identity. But this is why nobody ever said that. So we just left us alone. And then we came here, and here in the United States, people are like, oh, here's your physiology needs in your home and everything, but you forced so much to just be your own self in a short period of time. And all you hear is, why are you not assimilating? Why are you not becoming? But that time is when I felt like when we, it's when we were our worst self, you know, like you, it's when you, for the first time, we were no longer, as a kid, I was no longer watching after my sibling. I was no longer worried about water or food or if my mother would get to a medical, you know, facility every time she had a miscarriage. So after all that, you know, responsibility was no longer on my shoulders. It was, I was time to f forced to face me. My highest point will be who I am today. <laughs> yeah. Now that I am an interpreter myself, working in Maine, I find that a lot of people would put, you, put me under the category of an expert. And I used to say that, what qualifies me to be an expert? I'm just a Somali person. I learned what Somalia is and how their government was working, whatever. Like any other American person, I Google a lot. Even though we have one culture, one language, whatever, we also have different cultures individually. You know, every household have their own little culture that they, the way they raise their kids, the way they go about the Islamic religion is different than the next door. So not to assume that we all dress alike, eat alike, talk alike, it's not the case, you know.